वेलकम टू मुशब्बर दिस इज़ आल्सो ए नाइस प्लेस एक्चुअली वेरी नाइस प्लेस एट एसविक स्लाथ देर इज एसविक स्लाथ क्लोज टू दिस बिल्डिंग बिहाइंड दिस एरिया दिस एरिया देर इज ए स्लाथ देर कैसल एंड दिस इज लाइक वेरी ओल्ड बिल्डिंग एंड लुक्स लाइक दे हैव मेड इट लाइक ए म्यूजियम स्टाफ You can see here at the center there is a, a painting, iron painting. Looks like uh, the face of the woman. And in this area there is also something. Now these buildings are closed, but if you look here at outside, you will find that uh, this is like a museum, an open air museum. they have a history of this area described here so here you can see that around 10000 years ago people started to come in this area and started to live here so this has a history of 10000 years so here you can see it is written it is written in swedish so some kind of uh, small historic museum so this is like uh, something from uh, the past and here they have written also what years they are talking about is in swedish but they have all the looks like uh, dates here explained so about 10000 years ago maybe they used to live like this as it is described here and then during the medieval time about 1000 uh, years ago so about 1000 years ago it was like that here so this castle Edwig Slut was probably looking like this as you can see here so this is medieval times they have uh, written here all the explanation if you can see here and then yeah between 1000 to 1500 years ago and and this is about 6 700 years ago 1300 uh, 1374 to 1497 so this is how people used to live here during those times so this is the history of the swedish people and here you can see about 1000 uh, 1500 years at 1500 years 1500 talat years it was like this maybe this was king and then there are people working around him so this is between 1500 to 1599 and here from 1550 to 1600 so these are probably known people in the swedish history and this is from 1600 years so about 400 years ago I don't know much about the Swedish history but I knew this thing before that about 10000 years ago people used to settle in and around Stockholm and also this museum also starts from uh, 10000 years ago so they have all the explanation from 10000 years ago until now so this is 16 hundred talat 
and this is 1700 years so during 1700 at 1700 years the environment here was like this and now uh, Udvik Slat even today looks like this and then this is like a mountain and there are a lot of uh, beaches there in 1700 years it was like this and then here you can find about 1800 years so from 17 to 1800 years it used to be like this so maybe she is some well-known Swedish woman from the past maybe you can tell me who is she So this is from 1800 years I guess these are very well known personalities in Sweden but I don't know them this looks like from some kind of a bar so in so this board is from 1800 32 to 1900 so during this era looks like uh, Sweden has a terrible battle a lot of people died in this battle and then from 1900 years so this is not very far away and I can see the board here the flag here is written there Jotebor Jotebore. So maybe something happened in Jotebore. And then this is from 1900 to 1999. So this board is from 1919 to 1999. Here I can see happy faces. So maybe this is the area when Sweden started its development. And you can see here farmers are working people are happy and so on and this is from 2000 and very happy faces very happy child so it looks like in the past Sweden has the bloody history and then from year 2000 uh, they became very happy so they became very wealthy and look at the face and look at these pictures so this is how it looks like even today so this is the future Framti means future I have been here before but I never uh, uh, concentrated on this part so today I did and now you know so this place is at Wiccan and uh, at Wiccan Slat is on my right side and in front of me is a sea branch coming all the way here from Baltics so this is not like a lake this is a branch coming from the Baltic Sea so from the Baltic Sea you can come via Waxholm and Warmto to here passing uh, through the Lidingo Island in my previous video I was talking about open air gym so here is there's a one small open air gym and kids are enjoying this gym. So this water comes all the way here from Baltic Sea via Wamdo, Waxholm and then uh, passing through Lidingo and then here. 
and there is also a very narrow channel coming from Naka and uh, uh, Salsobadan. It's very nice here, very beautiful here. So we were here. So this is on the back side. We have museum, and I showed you the open air museum part. I did not go inside the building. Maybe someday when I will come here during the working hours I may be able to show you what is inside So thank you. If you like this video, please share this video to the whole world. Spread this video everywhere. We are confident that this channel is going to have a huge impact. This channel is going to change some of the lives of the people. So please subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon and stay tuned. Thank you to all of you. Goodbye.